everyone, it's Elizabeth and I'm so excited to finally be here behind the camera and put my fears aside and do what I love the most, the makeup. So today I am going to be doing a fall look as you can see with a fall lip and I'm going to be using all brushes from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. You guys have been commenting on my stuff, DMing me, asking me for this, and it's so overdue. But like I said, I finally put my fears aside and I got behind the camera and I hope y'all like it as much as I do. And I don't want to do like any kind of crazy long intro, so let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. Okay, so in the look today, I'm going to be using mainly all drugstore and affordable brands because I posted on my Instagram story a few days ago and asked you guys what y'all would like to see more of and I got a lot of feedback on the affordable and drugstore stuff. So I tried my best to get all together the drugstore and affordable things but I also have a few of the high end things just because that's just me. Alright so first before I do my makeup I always start off by moisturizing my face and priming my face. Those are two very important steps to the whole makeup process. So today I'm going to be using the Bliss Drench to Quench Moisturizer, which you can get from Target or Walmart or, I don't know if you can get from Walmart, I got it from Target, but you can get it from drugstores and it's like $10. Some good stuff too. Okay. And next I'm going to go in with the Baby Skin instant pore eraser which is a really good dupe for the pores no more and i want to say it is the benefit to make that i'm not sure next i'm going to jump into foundation so today i'm going to be using the wet and wild foundation it's the photo focus okay and Today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill 03 brush that of her collection to use in my foundation and I usually typically do not use foundation brushes. I'm more of a beauty blender kind of girl but I want to do a full face today using all the brushes I received. So I'm just going to blend this all out. and. A good tip whenever you are doing your foundation is do more of a pat motion versus a swipe motion. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. What I do is I start with my under eyes first and I start right here and go down along my face or beside my nose and I bring it out like this. Bring it down a little bit and spread it out. And I'm going to go with the JH06 brush. I think that's what I'm going to use out of all these. Yeah. I'm going to use this to blend out my concealer. And then I'm also going to go back in with the same concealer and just put a little bit on my eyelids because I prefer concealer over eyelid primers. It's just what I choose to do and it's what works best for me. So, Next, what I do is I set my concealer and my foundation, and today I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in Translucent Extra Coverage, and I really have been loving this powder lately. And I'm going to use the JH07 brush to do this. And then I'm going to take this big fluffy brush which is the JH01 and I'm going to get a little bit of that product same powder and kind of just put on my cheeks or right here and put on the other part of my face. So after I set my foundation and my concealer I always go and do my brows. So I'm going to do my brows and today I'm going to be using the Morphe brow pencil which is a really close dupe to the Anastasia brow wood. So to do my brows, I'm not really going to do any crazy brows today, like 
over draw them, do concealer under and on top to carve them out. I'm just going to do them really light and simple. That's what I usually do unless I'm going for a crazy look, which I might do that in the future. But today I'm going to go with a more subtle brow and just kind of go over my brows instead of overdraw them. So first off, I take the Brow Wiz or the Morphe dupe of the Brow Wiz and I just kind of go along over my eyebrows. I'm not going too crazy over it. I'm just kind of following along with them and just giving them a dark, nice feel. And another tip is you don't ever want to bring out the brow product into the inner corner of your eye because it just makes them look really like too crazy. After you get enough product or the amount that you want, then I'm going to take the spoolie on the other end and I'm going to kind of just blend it all out so it's not too cakey looking on my eyebrows. And then at that point, that's whenever you bring the spoolie into the inner part of your eyebrow and it all kind of blends together. Like the color is on the spoolie so it's going to bring it in in a more natural way. Alright, so... The next thing that I do after I do my brows, while my powder is still setting on my face as well, I have not wiped that off yet, I'm going to go in and do the eyeshadow. And today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is my favorite palette of and all time. I am going to use, I really don't know what brush to use because I've never used these before, so probably going to go in with. The JH36 brush. And I'm going to go in with this transition shade right here. And I'm going to put it in the crease of my eyes. And just blend it out really nicely. So, next I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the JH31 brush. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here. And I'm just going to put that in my crease as well over the transition shade that I just used. If your arms aren't tired, then you're not doing it right. Alright, so next I'm just going to pick up that brush that I put the transition shade on with and get a little bit more of that transition color and blend this, these two colors in really nicely. So next I'm going to pick up the JH37 makeup brush and I'm going to go in with this darker brown shade over here. I'm just going to get a little bit of that product and I'm going to put it in the outer crease only. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to go back in with the 31 brush and get that, this fade right here again. And I'm going to go back over and blend it all in together. We're going to be here for a minute blending, just, just FYI, because that's the key to everything is just blend your eyeshadow out really nicely. Alright, so after you blend your little heart out, I'm going to go back in with that darker shade again. And I'm just going to, this time, strictly keep it right here in the outer corner, like just right here. On both sides, I'm going to pack it in right there. And then I'm going to go in with like a fluffier brush. Yeah, this one looks good. The JH30 brush and I'm just going to subtly like 
move that in a little bit and so it's not as harsh but I'm still keeping it kind of in the same area I'm not bringing it across the whole crease this time just in the outer corner only okay and then to that I'm gonna go in with a let's see the JH34 brush and I'm gonna grab this like warm bright orangey color because I feel like this look needs a little bit more of a orange and I'm just gonna blend in the creases together so next I'm gonna do my all over lid color I'm gonna go in with the JH33 and I'm gonna go in with this hmm, shade I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like a rose gold pretty color and I'm just gonna pick it up on the brush top off the excess and then I'm just gonna put it close to the, the lashes and on the lid I'm not bringing it to the crease or anything I'm just putting it right here I'm just gonna pack it on I'm not really rubbing it back and forth it's more of a pat motion I'm using So now that you have that rosy gold color all over the lid, I'm going to go in with this lighter color on the very edge and pack it on on the center of my lid. And then the same on the other eye. And I'm going to go in with this 38, 30 brush and just blend everything out nicely together. Like I said, blending is like makes the biggest difference in the whole world if you blend your eyeshadow or if you don't blend your eyeshadow and if your arm isn't hurting then you're not doing it right so now that I have all that blended out nicely I'm going to go in with the lower lash line probably going to go in with the JH39 makeup brush and I'm going to pick up that transition shade again and so now that I have that transition shade on the bottom lower lash line I'm going to go in with a darker color, which is this shade right here. Okay. Also, I forgot to do this part a second ago. I'm going to go and highlight my brow. And I'm going to be using this, a mixture of these first two bright shades right here. I'm just going to subtly blend that in nicely and it looks like more of a natural highlight. So I'm going to take that same two colors as well and I'm going to highlight my inner corner of my lid. Which is a very important step because it ties the whole eye together. Okay, so next I'm going to go in and with eyeliner. And I'm going to be using the Morphe Dark Room Eyeliner, which is really affordable. I want to say it's under $5 at least. Probably cheaper than that. But I'm just going to go in and put it on my waterline. Again, you don't want to bring it all the way into the inner corner because you don't want your eyes to be too dark and crazy. So after I do that... I'm going to go in with liquid eyeliner now and just line my upper lash lid. So here I'm just going to follow my lid, not giving it like any kind of shape. I'm just following along with the shape of my eye. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to mention you guys. This is name of it Salavi felt tip eyeliner pen I got it off Amazon it's fairly cheap I think it got for like five or ten dollars okay so next I'm gonna go in with the Stila huge extreme lash mascara this is one of the things I told y'all was gonna be using a more high-end brand of it's because I just I, whenever I like a mascara I like it and sticking with what I know this is my current favorite and I couldn't shoot my first YouTube video without her, so 
Here she is. So before I do lashes, I'm just going to let this mascara dry a little bit. So, so now we're going to jump into the face and I'm going to be doing my contour, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight. But first I have to get all of this loose powder off my face. So first, I'm just going to, this is another one of the products that I brought that is a high-end product because I have not found a good contour shade from the drugstore yet. I just have not. So I'm going to be going in with the MAC Shadester, and this is my favorite contour shade of all time. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that, which this is a really good contour shade. So I'm just going to bring it from my ear to the corner of my lip. But I'm not gonna drag it down that far, but just stop about like right here. And then do the same to the other side. And this brush is also the JH02, I haven't mentioned that. Okay, <laughs> so. So now I'm just going to do this, I get the corner of my forehead on both sides and this brings that contour all together. You don't just want your cheeks to be contoured and I'm also going to take the shade and go under my chin with it right here, my jawline. That way everything's nice and even across the face. So the next step that I do is I'm going to put some powder under my eye, like a banana looking powder. And this is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, which is my absolute new favorite. Just gonna go in with the JH07 and take this yellow shade and put it under my eyes. Okay, and then you also wanna take that and put it on your forehead, your nose. And then on your chin, you want to keep it all even across your face. So, now that I did that, I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm just going to use the same thing I used to contour. It's the JH02. Because that's like the only kind of bronzer brush I'm seeing in this collection. So... Next what I'm going to do is go in with blush. I'm going to be using the Milani blush in Luminosa. So this is going to be the JH04 brush. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of product. And just hit the apples of my cheeks and then swoop it up. The next thing that I'm going to do is apply the lashes because my mascara is all nice and dry now. So today I'm going to be using the Demi Wispies. So I just get tweezers. So I'm also going to be using the Duo Glue. You don't want to apply it to your eye as soon as you add the glue to it. You kind of want to set around and wait and let it dry a little bit. Now that I think she's all nice and dry, I'm going to go in and just lay them on top of my lashes. Okay, so I just set them in the center. And then I'll bring the inner corner down and then the outer corner. Okay, so now that I have my lashes on, I'm gonna go in with this Stila mascara and put some mascara on the bottom lashes. So now that I have mascara on both of my eyes, I'm going to go in with the best product of all times, which is the Becca Highlighter Champagne Pop that Jaclyn Hill created. I'm going to go in with the JH09, and I'm just going to get that product, tap it off a little bit, and I'm just going to put it on the top of my blush and on my cheekbones. I'm also going to go in and highlight my nose, 
and my cupid's bow. But next, we're gonna go into the lips. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Suede. And this is in the shade Soft Spoken, which is one of my all-time favorites. This is like the color I wore all last fall. If you know me, you know this is my shade. And I always like to do like a little X on the lips to shape them. Like so. So, now that I have all my makeup on, I finally get to go in with this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, which I have heard a lot of hype about this product. So, we're going to go in with her. Okay. So. Ooh. It felt good. It was, like, refreshing. But I'll let y'all know how it works. I'll leave it in the description below because I'm going to let y'all know if it really did hold my makeup or set it like it should because I can't it's too early to tell right now all right so now that I'm done with all my makeup this is the final look all right you guys that concludes it for this look I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this I had so much fun filming my first YouTube video but don't forget to like subscribe and comment on our channel and we'll see y'all next time